pepper, and all the legs. Pepper the dachshund had very short legs. They were so short that Pepper seldom saw anything face to face, except a mouse or a turtle or a mole in a hole. Most of the time, Pepper saw nothing but legs. He chewed on big fat table legs or curled up around stubby chair legs. He played with legs and sneakers and took long walks with legs and shoes. When he was hungry, it was usually the legs with sandals that fed him. And every night, Pepper was lifted high above all the legs and given a good night hug. <clears throat> Then all his favorite legs would climb the stairs and disappear. Where did they go? Pepper wondered, what could be at the top of all those stairs? No matter how hard he tried, Pepper could never climb those stairs. His legs were just too short. Poor Pepper. One day, Pepper saw a basket of clean wash and clean wash, Pepper knew, was always taken upstairs. If he couldn't climb the stairs, maybe he could get someone to carry him there. Pepper jumped inside the basket and hid deep down under the soft, clean towels. He waited until someone carried the basket up the long, steep flight of stairs. When everything was quiet, Pepper came out from beneath the wash. He wagged his tail merrily as he began to discover all the wonderful things upstairs. There were more legs, of course, but there were also new things to pull apart. And new things to chew. And new places to do things he should not do. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Soon, Pepper found something grand and white. He climbed on a stool and down over the slippery wall. The shiny knobs sparkled as Pepper began to play with them. Then whoosh, the fun was over when the cold water poured out on Pepper. Uh-oh, Pepper. I hope you can dog paddle. Yipe, yipe, called Pepper, paddling as hard as he could to stay above the water. Eek, screamed the sandals as they rushed to pull Pepper out of the tub. Bad dog, yelled the shoes. Tisk tisk said the sneakers when they dragged Pepper to the garage. Pepper spent the whole night alone in the dark garage. No one hugged him good night, and there was not any there was not a leg of any sort in sight. But next morning Pepper was forgiven and allowed to return to the house. Now be a good dog, pleaded the sandals. Behave yourself, said the shoes. Please stay out of trouble, added the sneakers. Pepper was very happy to be back with all the legs. He never tried to climb the stairs again. But often he dreamed he had great long legs that would take him anywhere he wanted to go.